Hey, what is going on everybody? James here from Villa Users as usual. Uh, today I'm going to show you some of the UI patches that I have applied to my YOLO phone using the, the patch manager application. Links in, uh, links in the description below for how to install and I'll probably make a post about it too but I will put the links in the uh, description as well. Uh, anyhow, um, one of the patches uh, which is a cool one is the uh, setting shortcuts that I have added to the uh, right side screen that when, when I uh, swipe from right side some of the shortcuts that are actually activated in my setting men settings menu except from this part only from the brightness above so that I can easily interact with the menus like uh, setting a time and everything or toggling Bluetooth or Wi-Fi actually I had to toggle that on this comes instead of the um, ambience menu that you, we used to have before but worry not because we have the ambience menu as well our fav favorite ambiances instead of going to the gallery and uh, selecting selecting the ambiances from there we have them uh, from the other screen which is the uh, left side of the phone so if you swipe from the right to left you will have the settings if you swipe from left to right you will have the ambience menu but and it, and it works from the lock screen as well so that was that then we have this rather cool one which is um, unlimited multitasking tiles or cards or whatever you, whatever you want to call them which brings us I mean usually we have only we are only limited to nine apps and now with this let's just open a few more apps and see what happens Yolo store let's just push it aside let's open calendar push this one aside so now this normally is the full length so if, if you open another app this uh, email app that I have here will go to the background and it will sh only show up if I hold down on one app and it show up shows up here but now when I open okay some notification came um, when I open another app which is taking long uh, I, I have this here now I have a new page plus this page so it doesn't matter how many apps you open it just goes on and on which can be a little bit annoying at some point when you have a lot of pages but let's see how many apps can be run until the phone gives up oh we had the settings sorry so now we have like 17 apps running Uh, let's open some more. I'm trying to focus on native applications. Let's open Lighthouse and see. So we have 88% uh, of our RAM fully. F yeah, let me just exactly. We have our we have 88% of our RAM filled up, and now two pages are occupied already. So if we just switch between the apps, we can see that it is perfectly functional, even the maps. Although I don't have the GPS on, I can just turn it on via the toggle here and I guess it should, yeah, it says waiting for location. But we are under, uh, under, under the roof, so now let's open the webkit browser see what happens then
Actually, it, it, is, it is loading the uh, talk.moimo.org. This is the page for this patch manager. See another page added, and and the phone is still functioning more or less without like it's still lagging less than Android. So let's see how it goes. Okay, huh? We still have 88%. How is this managing that? I have no idea. But we still have 88% of RAM. What else? Notes. I'm not gonna open that. There are some stuff there. Whatever. Flashlight. It's a very simple YouTube app. player, the native one. I'm just trying not to open any Android application because they are they will just kill the RAM right away. Although I think I I am able to run, but yeah, this is now quite frustrating. But this is saying we still have 89% of memory available. So there I have 9 here, plus 9 here, plus 3. So I have 21 applications running, and the phone is functioning quite well. It's not as snappy as before, naturally. But let's just open a random app, let's say clock. Uh, let's say record app The web browser still running Where's the media player is it this one? Yeah, but I don't have my memory card inside now, so there are only some playlists with nothing inside them yeah, That was a that was a lag in terms of memory, we still have like a lot of memory free. This is quite awesome. And I can just close them on the maps also. Although we are uh, inside a room, but uh, it found out where I am and as you can see it's performing quite well without any major lags or any ticks or anything I will just push it aside and hell let's close all of them together this should take a while I guess yeah That was beautiful. So yeah, these were these were the two lags I have applied. There are more, like date on lock screen, you can just... But it didn't work for me, I, I don't know how it works. Uh, the others I haven't tested, but there's one swipe feedback, which gives a rather nice feedback to your swipe. So now, I have the normal peaking view, which, you'll, uh, which is the uh, official YOLA thing. And then, when I restart the lipstick, it will just restart the home screen. Don't mind the green light, because it's just restarting the home screen. And now, when I open some application, let's say, let's say Patch Manager, I will have a, an effect, like, a Nokia, like Nokia 9 had. But as you can see, it follows my finger when I am swiping it. Yep, that was it. Thank you for watching and hope to see you next time with more exciting stuff. Cheers.